Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I greatly appreciate you guys being here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over another top five list of 3D era characters that absolutely need to make it into Mortal Kombat 12. So without further ado, let's break down this top five list. Let's do this. And just in case you guys did not see this video yet, I'll leave a link in the top right hand corner of the screen or over there actually. So you guys can check that out. It's another video of top five 3D era characters that need to make it into Mortal Kombat 12. All right, guys, coming in at number five, is Movado. I think Movado was a really interesting character. Yes, he was similar to Kano and Cabal, but it was really interesting to use his grapples and his hook swords as well. Playing in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance and in Mortal Kombat Armageddon, he would use his grapple to actually swing from one location to the other, which was really cool to see. He is second in command to the Red Dragon and first in command is Dagon, which is really interesting. I wonder if they will ever bring him back into the Mortal Kombat franchise. And he promises to eliminate the Black Dragon, which is is what Kano is a part of. I think if Movado was ever to return in Mortal Kombat 12, I think he would have to replace either Kano or Cabal. Besides his grappling and his hook swords, one of the moves that actually resembles Kano is his power up, where he's allowed to gain a power up just like Kano is in order to cause more damage. And interesting enough, Movado is actually referenced in Mortal Kombat 11. If two players are playing as Cabal, they'll actually interact with each other and say, Movado, is that you? Which is really interesting to see because I want Wonder if that means that we'll get him in Mortal Kombat 12. At number four is Natara. Now there's a lot of hype for Natara recently. I don't know where this hype came from. It just really just came out of nowhere, which is very interesting to see. Natara is a very interesting character. The only character of her kind as a vampire, she does have some similarities with Shang Tsung where she does have to feast on other people in order to survive, whereas Shang Tsung has to feast on other people's souls in order to survive. Another move set that Natara shares with another character in the Mortal Kombat franchise is Scarlet. Natara actually has the ability to spit out a red blood ball at your opponent. Very similar to Scarlet, Scarlet doesn't spit out a red blood ball, but she does have the powers and ability to control blood and shoot a blood ball at your opponent. There are references to Natara in Mortal Kombat 11. For example, in a dialogue between Aaron Black and Scarlet, they reference Natara, and there are some modifiers that have Natara's name in it. It would be really cool to see Natara make an appearance in Mortal Kombat 12, but I'm really not too sure if if they would replace Scarlet with Natara or they would have him in the same game. I'm really not too sure, but it would be really cool to see her make an appearance in the future Mortal Kombat games. Coming in at number three is Reiko. Now they've done my man Reiko dirty the past couple of years in movies and in video games. We haven't seen Reiko since Mortal Kombat Armageddon as a playable character. And in the recent Mortal Kombat movie, the man was killed. Playing as Reiko in Mortal Kombat Armageddon was always a fun time. One interesting move that I thought was really cool was the fact that whenever he did a shoulder charge, you would actually get to see Shao Kahn's helmet cover his face. He had many other awesome special moves, and this man definitely needs to make a return in Mortal Kombat 12. At number two, we have Shujinko, and I am very shocked that he hasn't made it into any Netherrealm Mortal Kombat game yet. He has to make it into Mortal Kombat 12. If he doesn't, I am going to be so damn upset. The last time we saw Shujinko was back in Mortal Kombat Armageddon as a playable character, but I think he had a more prominent role, obviously, in Mortal Mortal Kombat Deception, which for the 3D era games is my personal favorite. I think Deception had a really interesting storyline, especially for Conquest, where Shujinka was tricked by Damashi, which turned out to be Onaga, into capturing all the Kami Dogu and bringing Onaga into life. Shujinka was also mentioned in Mortal Kombat 11 in an introduction between Kung Lao and Liu Kang. We also did get to see Shujinko in Cassie Cage's MKX story ending, but she actually killed him, which kind of sucks, but I know that's not canon. It can't be canon, right? I would absolutely love Nether to bring in Shujinko and make him actually an important character in Mortal Kombat 12 story, especially if they take off from Shang Tsung's ending in Mortal Kombat 11. It would be great to see Shujinko make a return and actually have a prominent role in Mortal Kombat 12 story. And before we get into number one, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support. It really, really means a lot to see all you guys coming together, commenting on the videos, replying to stories, commenting on my Instagram posts, liking everything. It really means a lot to see all the support. And I've made countless memories with all you guys, and it's been such a pleasure getting to know each and every one of you. All right, now at the number one spot is Serena. Serena is such an amazing character, and I'm very shocked that we didn't get her in Mortal Kombat X or in Mortal Kombat 11. In Mortal Kombat X, she was a part of the story mode, and we found out that she did escape Quan Chi's control. She tries to help Katana in saying that it is possible to get out of Quan Chi's control, and she will aid her just like how Bihan aided Serena. However, just like they did to Lee Mei, 
Renee. She was introduced in the story and she wasn't a playable character in Mortal Kombat X and was not a playable character in Mortal Kombat 11, which I found very shocking for both Serena and Lee Mei. In Mortal Kombat Armageddon, she was considered a little bit OP, especially for her projectiles for how fast it actually was. She had a lot of awesome special moves such as the Gut Buster, the Five Star Kick, and the Skull Bash. Playing as Serena in Mortal Kombat Armageddon was so cool and they have to bring her back in Mortal Kombat 12. Let me know in the comment section below, what five 3D era characters would you guys like to see make a return? I know in one of my previous videos for top five 3D era characters that need to make a return in Mortal Kombat 12, a lot of people replied and said, yeah, I wanna see Ken Chi or Quan Chi, but those are characters that already made a return in the Mortal Kombat games from Mortal Kombat 9 to Mortal Kombat 11. For these lists that I'm making, it's actually just for characters that have not made a return yet. I would absolutely love to see Ken Chi and Quan Chi and Bo Raichou make their return in Mortal Kombat 12, but they already did have their chance in Mortal Kombat 9 through Mortal Kombat 11. So this list is just for characters that have not made that return yet. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. I greatly appreciate your time. And if you guys are new, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me on the Instagram page at the Island Boys, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Shoots. Thank you.